was the deal between Democratic Governor Kate Brown and Republican Vice President Mike Pence is what led to the announcement of some federal officers engaging with protesters at the courthouse will now leave. Lisa Balick digging deeper into how this deal happened. She joins us from Southwest Portland. Lisa? Well, clearly no love lost between President Trump and Governor Brown still having a war on Twitter today. But the relationship between the governor and Vice President Pence is a lot different. President Trump has long made it clear federal officers were not going to leave the federal courthouse unprotected after weeks of nightly skirmishes there with protesters. So the head of the Oregon State Police came up with a plan to have state troopers step in and replace immigration and border patrol officers. The governor's office confirmed to me today Governor Brown reached out to Vice President Pence and spoke with him this past Monday. They've been in touch several times recently on the coronavirus issue. They reached a deal that Oregon State Police troopers would protect the courthouse, and if it worked out, the federal officers would be gone. I spoke by phone today with former Oregon Governor Barbara Roberts about the unusual alliance. When you really need to make something happen, sometimes you take unusual paths to get there. The former governor says she understands why Governor Brown and the vice president worked together to try and resolve the situation. This was probably the most productive place she could have gone. Congress wasn't going to solve the problem, and the president wasn't going to listen to Congress if they had an idea, but he would pay attention to Pence. And so I think the vice president knew he had an opportunity in Kate Brown understood she had an opportunity to help Oregon. The Oregon State Police says it will have 100 of its staff in Portland. There are 380 total state troopers. The job of those who will be by the courthouse is, quote, to facilitate free speech to the best of their ability and present a refrained and proportional response to observe criminal conduct in hopes of diffusing some of the tension that currently exists between the community and federal authorities. Now, state government sources told me today that the troopers will be out talking with protesters, trying to de-escalate things. I asked, though, what happens if people start going over the fence and start damaging the courthouse? I was told there will be arrests. Live in Southwest Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin6 News. Ever-changing dynamics. Thank you, Lisa.